Hello everyone, this is Pax the Fashion Workshop. I remind you that we post new videos every day. I also want to remind you that three of our video courses are available now. 10 measurement cutting system, how to make a bomber jacket and how to sew a classic women's shirt. Buy the courses if you haven't done it yet. We would really appreciate your support. Today we continue working with a dress with a 3D effect. On the table you can see the main fabric, the dotted net fabric and the pattern for the dress. I decided to make a dress a bit flared at the bottom. The insects in the fabric are printed in different directions, so it allows us to place the pattern of the back and the front in opposite directions and make the flare. I'm making a dress on the basis of the basic pattern. I've made the pattern longer. The dress is going to be 140 cm long. This is the length down from the shoulder to the bottom. I wasn't sure if I would be able to make a flare dress or not. I am happy that I have such opportunity. I remind you that the front part of the dress will be covered with net. The length of this piece of net is 95 cm. I'm going to cut it on the crosswise grain. It stretches both crosswise and lengthwise. I need to fold the net in half and measure the width. 48 cm. I've already put the pattern on the fabric. Next, I'm going to cut the pattern to flare the dress. There will be a seam on the center back in the dress. I need to cut the drawn line. It's drawn right in the middle of the waist tuck and goes to the shoulder dart. Let's continue working. I'd like to make both the back and the front about 10 cm wide at the bottom. Here's the ruler. 10 cm. I need to fix the pattern this way. Next I'm going to do the same thing with the front. Here it is. When I get back to working with the patterns, I'll make sure that the width of the opening is 10 cm. I need to use the ruler. I'm drawing a line right through the waist tuck. I'm drawing a line not only through the waist tuck, but also through the bust top. This is the best thing to do. I need to make the opening 10 cm wide. Very nice. I need to fix the pattern this way. I also recommend applying some sticky tape here. I 
It will be much more convenient to work with the pattern this way. The lower part of the pattern is ready. Next, you need to have a look at the chest dart, the neckline and the armholes. I need to put the both patterns this way. I'll explain everything once again. I've moved the fabric aside. This is my basic pattern. I made it longer. I also flared both of the details down to the bottom. The width of the opening in both the front and the back patterns is 10 cm. I've cut the patterns through the bust top and the waist tucks. I've cut both the front and the back absolutely the same way. I showed you how to do it. Next, we need to have a look at the darts, the armholes and the necklines. There is no need for me to make a shoulder dart. I need to move its opening to the armhole. Notice that I'm not going to move the whole opening, just a part of it. I'll cut the extra piece later, when the front pattern is ready. I want to move a part of the chest that are opening to the armhole as well, about 5 mm. As I've already said, I'm going to move about 5 mm from the dart opening to the armhole. And the rest of it? Here. Have a look at what I'm doing. I've decided to move just about 5 mm here. Next, I need to draw the neckline. I'm going to make the front neckline about 4 cm deeper and 1.5 cm wider. I'm going to draw a simple round neckline. When I try the dress on, I'll decide if I want to change the neckline. Next, I need to do the same thing on the back. The back neckline will be 1.5 cm wider and 1.5 cm deeper. I also need to alter the armholes. I'll make it about 1.5 cm deeper and 2 cm wider on the shoulder. Do the same thing in the back and the front. This is a must. Check if the details are accurate. This is very important. The shoulder should be even. That's it.
The pattern is ready. When I cut the extra pieces from it, I'll start cutting the fabric. When you finish cutting the pattern, make sure that the shoulders match. This is a must. The shoulders are perfect now. Very nice. I can start cutting the fabric now. Before doing it, I'd like to check if the piece of fabric I have is enough for the front. This piece of net is pretty small. I'm going to cut it on the crosswise grain. I remind you that I'm going to attach it just to the front. Luckily, I have enough of it. That's all for today. Next time, I'm going to show you how to cut the fabric. My name is Olga. Subscribe to this channel, write comments, share the videos, press the like and the bell buttons. We would really appreciate your support. Thank you. Goodbye.